this this movement is is growing uh, super fast. And is there anything you need that people could could bring along? I mean, food is always like really nicely. Even though like for that, it would be nice if it's vegan and like also. Um, not necessarily like chocolate or something like this, which comes like from like marginalized groups or communities or like areas in the world. Because I mean, we also don't want to like support like, yeah, the structures which are behind that. And especially if it's bought, it's not cool. Like, I mean, if it dumps through, then it's nicer. And is there anything else uh, you would like to say, like to share? Wow, this this movement is, is growing uh, super fast. This idea of occupying forests. Um, this is the time to do it and for everyone who is sitting at home and wondering like who the hell are these people come by and get get involved like we this is we need people and this movement is growing so fast like it's now that you should participate in it because now we have potential to actually change something in society um, yeah and i mean we have really like a lot of like people who identify with like kind of the anarchist ideology and I mean, one of like the ground principles is also like this like mutual solidarity between each other. And that's like super nice because you constantly feel the support from like one person to the other person. And like, it's not like that they feel that they have to, but they really want to. So like, it's like a really like nice form of community living here. Why is Moni worth defending? Monocultures are still nicer than autocultures, right? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. and, like I mean, we really don't need more highways and... Well, generally, like, this whole, like, system is fucked up. And this is just, like, also, like, the response to this, like, what's going wrong, right? So, like, it's definitely worth defending, like, all the time. Like, no matter if it's, like, monoculture or the most beautiful forest or, like, just a field, like, the Zads. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. And if you are ever in doubt whether it's worth defending this monoculture, you should definitely check out our Instagram. <laughs> Pines, <laughs> Pines Against the Machines. There are some beautiful pictures of pine trees almost every day. Yeah. I mean, also okay. just like as like a yeah stronghold against like the Nazis in this area, so it's also really important, mm -hmm. like to show that like this whole like transformation of a lot of like like areas and countries in the world right now towards like a more right wing politics. Like I think we really have to stand up against this. And what about the local people living around here? Do you get a lot of support from them? It's really nice. Like it was also one of the reasons why we really wanted to start this occupation is because there's like really a stronghold of like activism here especially who um yeah we're fighting against the nuclear industry in germany so like these people are, like really like helping us a lot like i think it's really divided in this area of germany like that we have like either the right-wing people visiting us or like the super super cool like leftist people and like activist people that really like support us in like all the ways it's super nice it's like really cool to connect to them yeah it sounds really interesting thanks a lot you're welcome. <laughs> Come hang out in the big net. You can play tag. True, we <laughs> played tag in the net yesterday. It's the craziest game ever. When you tag someone and then they have to catch you before they ah, can okay. catch them. And then the net is super jumpy and bouncy, so you like to like flip <laughs> overs and like it's like the next level tag game. Yeah, yeah sounds great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs>